Well, April is Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and tonight at the UVM College of Medicine, dozens of teens heard powerful messages from people affected by texting and driving. Local 22's Devin Bates was there and joins us now in studio with more. Devin. Well, Glenn, according to the Department of Motor Vehicles, more than a thousand people are injured every day due to a distracted driver, and UVM Medical Center's Text You Later program is looking to show Vermont teens the very real impacts that can have not just on drivers, but the people around them. UVM Medical Center's Text You Later program is bringing the dangers of distracted driving into the classroom, showing teens in driver's ed how difficult it is to focus while texting and driving, and even bringing the trauma of an emergency room visit directly to students. The program's director said it's more important than ever to educate today's teens because many of them grew up watching their parents text and drive. And we have to unteach that and show them that no, these are the dangers that are with it. This is the side effects that we see as a Trauma One Center, that these are the victims and the people whose lives are completely changed forever. There were several Vermonters personally impacted by texting and driving on hand to speak, including a college freshman whose sister was killed while on a cross-country bike trip after her high school graduation. You do not want to lose a sister. You, you do not want to lose a friend, a daughter, a son, um, to something that is preventable. You don't want to see, see your sister on, on her deathbed. Colchester resident Debbie Druniak suffered devastating injuries after being hit right in front of her own home by a teen driver who was texting. Her life was changed forever, but her mission to educate young drivers has given her a new purpose. I have lost a lot. I lost my dog, my job, my license, my car, my social life. I have lost my independence when your car is on, turn your cell phone off. The distractions just are not worth it. For driver's ed students preparing to be on their own behind the wheel, the message resonated. This has definitely been the most influential thing I've learned throughout this course. And I think they should go to schools so kids, instead of just hearing a statistic, they can actually see people who have been really affected by it. In February, the Vermont House Transportation Committee heard testimony on a bill that would impose a $500 fine for first-time offenders caught using their phones while driving. Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.